Let me start by stating the obvious. Machines are not people. What's less obvious is there's simply no persuasive evidence that they're on the path to becoming generally intelligent, despite what you see in the movies. They can perform tasks that humans solve using human intelligence. But that doesn't mean the machines are intelligent. I'm Jerry Kaplan, and I'm passionate about artificial intelligence. I inform and entertain audiences around the world by explaining how new technology will transform the way we live and the way we work. Everyone has seen the movies where robots run amok and evil computers take over the world. But the future is not likely to be anything like that. As a Silicon Valley entrepreneur and inventor, I explain how artificial intelligence will create significant new business opportunities and improve our lives in many ways. As an author and commentator, I've written extensively about the impact of new technology on jobs and on the economy. Artificial intelligence will make us much wealthier overall, but not everyone will benefit equally. In my talks, I reveal which jobs are going away and which new ones will take their place. And I explain how you can stay relevant in the highly automated world of the future. Self-driving cars, virtual reality, and electronic personal assistants are just some of the ways artificial intelligence will improve our lives. But it will also create new challenges. It will change the way we wage wars, threaten our privacy, and empower authoritarian governments. But most of all, I like to inspire and motivate audiences by explaining how they can benefit from this remarkable new technology and prepare for an exciting future. Here's a sample of topics I like to cover. The theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision-making, and translation between languages. So what's really happening is that robots that used to be confined to the factory floor are basically getting eyes and ears and the ability to engage in certain simple kinds of reasoning. And once you do that, you can take those robots and move them out into the field where they can work in human environments alongside people and begin to do tasks that normally require human attention. Your car will be truly autonomous when you instruct it to take you to the office and it decides to go to the beach instead. Contrary to what you might read in the press, everyone isn't going to be out of a job because the labor market continually evolves in response to automation. So are the robots taking over? Maybe they already have. Machines and robots move our freight, they score our tests, they handle our billing, they plant and pick many of our crops. What are those jobs? The jobs are going to be those that inherently evolve a personal touch or a demonstration of skill like playing the piano, uh, or some kind of person-to-person -person interaction. The future's very bright if you can afford it. And the problem is most people are not going to be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. What we're seeing is an acceleration in automation driven primarily by advances in artificial intelligence. While it's true that automation makes society richer, there are serious questions about just whose pockets are filled by the increased wealth. The benefits of automation naturally accrue to those who can invest in the new systems, and many of you are in the room. Put plainly, that means that the rich get richer and everyone else is left behind. We need to develop an engineering discipline of computational ethics, and we need to have course sequences in our engineering schools that teach how to get machines to behave appropriately in a wide variety of new circumstances. I think the potential impact on the world is similar, and I am not exaggerating, to the invention of the wheel. But we need to think of it not as some kind of magical discontinuity in the development of intelligent life on Earth, but as a powerful collection of automation tools with the potential to transform our livelihoods and to vastly increase our wealth. I'm supremely confident that our future is very bright, more Star Trek, than Terminator. Our technology and our economy should serve us, not the other way around.